All right. So India there will continue uh, to have its own independent stance. But sir, moving uh, towards uh, China, is your view on the China focus? The grouping is also uh, seeking to project a unified response to an increasingly assertive China. It's, you know, the perceived threat that it poses to the economic stability of the world already shaken by the Russia-Ukraine war. And not just that, China has refused to condemn the invasion and has bolstered ties with Moscow. But can these nations that are there, the G7 nations, agree on a common approach to the world's second largest uh, economy, which is in fact a trade partner to many G7 countries? Look, uh, the biggest trade partner of most of the G7 countries is China. It's the uh, US's biggest trade partner, Japan's biggest trade partner, uh, biggest uh, trade partner of the EU, of Germany. So how can, how can they have a common position uh, with regard to uh, trade with, with China? Uh, and they cannot apply the same kind of sanctions on China if push comes to shove as they applied on, on, on Russia uh, because they will themselves be hurt uh, very badly. And I know uh, German Chancellor has been to China recently. President Macron has also been. They want to protect their commercial interests, trade interests with China. And uh, France was very open with regard to their very their concern about uh, United States uh, provocations on Taiwan. And they don't want to be dragged into this conflict uh, with China. He said that quite openly because we don't want to be uh, a camp follower where we are forced to participate in, uh, in the mounting uh, confrontation between the United States and, and China. The German uh, big company, what auto company has, uh, and the BASF, the chemical company, has just uh, announced a major investment <laughs> in China. So there are differences between, uh, between United States and uh, other countries in the G7 with regard to China. But yes, Japan is very worried. Uh, that uh, if, as they say quite openly, that if uh, Russia gets away with what it is doing in Ukraine and is not punished, then this will encourage other countries, namely China, uh, to then um, what they have always intended to do, take action against Taiwan. And this will be a very big blow to the security of Japan and other countries in the Western uh, Pacific. So a lot of what Japan is doing is, uh, and their anger and their language against uh, Russia and Ukraine has become much harsher in, in recent weeks. And this is happening because they are more and more worried that the security situation in China is developing in favor of China because of China's military uh, uh, capacities, which have increased enormously. And, and uh, there is concern that China will be able to push the United States military uh, far away from its coasts from the Western Pacific and open up space for themselves uh, to deal with Taiwan whenever they think that they have the capacity to do so uh, without too much cost. So Japan is certainly worried about this. And we share these concerns because China's aggression in the Western Pacific and whatever they are doing will automatically be reflected in its policies towards India uh, on our border, as we've already seen despite the fact that, the, that China is facing such a serious threat, according to them, from US and its military alliances, it is still picking up a fight with India and has massed several divisions uh, on our border. So this is a concern we share, and that's why we are talking about reinforcing Quad, and we are, we are expressing our greater commitment to, uh, to Quad than ever before, because we see that we have to have uh, a meeting of minds with our principal partners in the court to deal with the mounting uh, Chinese threat.